In this session, we're going to create a new subsite and make it a private site with unique permissions. To do so, we're going to start just like we have before creating other sites in Site Actions and Create. We're going to navigate to the right hand side over where it says Sites and Workspaces. And from there, let's say that this is a, a new site for uh, senior management. We're going to give it a URL. And we're going to make this a regular team site. And here's where we make it private by assigning it unique permissions. We're still going to make it show up on the display bar and then left hand navigation, the top link bar, and we're going to inherit the navigation from our top links. One thing important to note about the uh, tab that we're going to put up at the top if a person doesn't have permissions to get to this site uh, based on their login permissions, they're not even going to see the tab at the top of the site. And we'll show you that in the, this, the end of this uh, tutorial. Now we're going to go ahead and click Create. And different than uh, our other site where it just went ahead and created the site and took us to it, because we said unique permissions, we're now taken to this site where it wants to create uh, either uh, new or existing site permissions for the senior team site. So what we're saying is we want to create a new site excuse me, a new group for each area, visitors, members, and team owners. We can do that and add people to it as we speak by clicking Create or adding them from the Active Directory. We can also inherit uh, permissions. So let's say that we wanted uh, team site members to be a brand new section, but on the uh, owners area, we want obviously the administrators or the senior team which would be the team site owners from our parent site to automatically inherit permissions and be able to come into this group. So that's how we would set that up. We click OK. Our new site's created. And here's our new, new uh, senior team site. Now if we go back to our home page on the parent site, logged in and as an administrator, let's change that login and sign in as a different user. and click OK. Notice up in our top tabs the senior team site that we created doesn't even exist here in the top area nor in the left hand. The security strip permissions uh, user interface is one of the nice new features in SharePoint 2007. If I don't have permissions to see it, whether that's a file, a folder, or an entire site, I don't have to be bothered with seeing that link and clicking on it and being prompted for a username and password. A very nice addition uh, to this version of SharePoint.